so let's start how event handling works in the Android few things related to the event handling in the Android okay so this is the button we have right I want to provide some listener to this button whenever I'm going to click it it should show me something let me write the text view over here text view width you can say match parent and the wrap content and text would be the code cool this like this text would be what code cool text size I can say 30 SP and gravity let's have at the center on the center right so this is going to happen or what we'll do is that simple code cool I will write over here presently right simple code cool I'll write on the click of OK it should getting added some braces and the semicolon to that code cool right we'll see how to do that thing <coughs> now here let me take the reference of what you can say button final Java says that if you're writing something right if you're writing something inside the method right then make it final button btn is equals to question mark what btn is equals to what my question to you is what now see yesterday what we have seen yesterday we have seen that this set content view is going to parse this XML and create object of this button object of this text view and keep it into the memory right so this set content view this set content view will parse this activity underscore main it will create object of linear layout object of text view and object of button and it will place that into the memory so here I want to assign or I want to get here I want to get reference of that button which is created by set content view how you will get that presently there is a no what you can say privilege to do this thing right presently there is a no facility to doing this thing why because objects of this text view and objects of this button are getting created and kept into the memory you don't have any identifier to them you need to assign some identifier to them like this ID say at you are going to assign some ID remember that in the XML if you want to provide the ID right or if you want to write something into the resource file you are going to use at plus represents create new or replace existing one or create new in the R file create into the ID resource say text info or say text code cool text code cool see what you are saying that at stands for the R file plus stands for the creation ID stands for the inner class of the R file likewise the drawable likewise the layout there is one inner class called as ID in the R file into that inner file you are going to create one field called as text code cool right and that field is mapping to this text view r dot id dot text code cool is nothing but the reference of this text view right app tool will make this mapping okay likewise the button id at stands for r file plus stands for create new id stands for the ID resource and say btn ok would be one field inside ID class R ID btn ok would be field inside ID class then text code cool would be the field inside ID class inside the R ok now see how you are going to access this thing how you are going to access this text cool text code cool and btn ok over here means you are going this btn ok this btn reference or this btn ok reference should refer 
to the object of that button which is parsed by set content view see now find view by id find view by id right find view by id from the memory see r which view you are going to find dot id dot btn okay can you see this thing find view by id r dot id dot btn okay see final button btn okay is equals to find view by id r btn r id btn okay but why it is giving me the error logically right find view by id is returning you object of view is returning you what object of view button is a child and it is returning you the parent child equals to parent will not possible in the java until and unless you make it casting button right until and unless you are going to provide some cast remember that this find view by id should be called after set content view not before set content view if you call it before set content view you would be getting null pointer exception because object this object is going to be created only after parsing if you do before you would be getting null pointer exception so make sure that if you are doing find view by id inside the activity that view is generated by set content view make sure that this thing okay now you got the button reference here you got the button reference now what i want to do is that on the click of the button right on the click of the button i want to add curly braces to that code cool right here code curly inside code would be inside curly braces and after cool there would be semicolon right so on the click of the button see now every view is clickable what i'm saying every view is clickable by see btn okay dot set on click listener now it is a typical java event handling model here can you see it is going it it is asking you object of the on click listener what it is asking you it is asking you for the object of on click listener so object of on click listener is the any class which is implementing the on click listener object of on click listener would be the any class that is implementing on click listener interface okay now on click listener is the inner interface of the view class what i'm saying on click listener is the inner interface of the view class right so either i can create something like this right private class and say click which implements view dot on click listener see i am saying view dot on click listener why because view is a outer class and on click listener is a inner class that's why view dot on click listener which is implementing only one method is there implements on click implements what on click and i can pass object of click over here new click this is the one way btn okay dot set on click listener object of on object of new click click button click class remember that this is the inner class of the activity make sure that i have created click as the inner class of the activity i have created click as the inner class of the activity see private class click implements on click listener okay in the java tutorial we have seen that you can write this thing in this way also dot set on click listener right you can write anonymous inner type as well this is anonymous inner type are you getting that this is nothing but what anonymous inner type remember that this thing or this one is the object of that class which is implementing the on click listener but without name above line this here you have provided named class 
here you are giving a named class that's why it is called as anonymous inner type right that's why you are going to call this thing as what anonymous inner type remember that okay now on the click of this method or on the click of this button this method is going to be get called so here what I will do is that again let me get the reference of text view over here say text code cool is equals to again find view by ID r dot ID dot say text code cool okay again typecast it to the text view and on the click of this what you are going to do text code cool dot set text again I'm going to assign one text say code then cool likewise code cool this and this okay let's run the code and see what happens if I run the code see what happens it is starting the emulator fine this text view and this assigning so this is nothing but what named inner class and this is nothing but what anonymous inner class this way is a preferred one now Android after the marshmallow or after the API level 24 Android has a support of Java 8 you can get the benefit of the lambda as well as the method references I'll show you how to do that thing let me show you first output of this gradle build is getting completed now see on the click of this button this on click method is going to get called this is a typical event handling model of the Java right this is nothing but what event handling model of the Java okay so it's running fine now if you want to enable the Java 8 in your Android app you need to make some settings you need to make some settings into the build.gradle file so Java 8 I'll show you Android Java 8 is going to be work with the help of Jack compiler see Android Java 8 right that is going to be worked with the help of Jack compiler means if you think that your Android app is going to work with the Java 8 can you see use Java 8 language features not everything of the Java 8 is supported to all versions of the Android no just lambdas and the method references are supported till API level 24 method references and the lambdas are supported you can read this thing right so support for the Java 8 language feature requires the new compiler called as Jack compiler right Jack is supported only on the Android Studio 2.1 and the higher so if you want to use the Java 8 language features you need Android Studio 2.1 or higher see Android doesn't support all Java 8 language features however the following features are available when developing the app which are targeting the 7.0 right that is nugget Android nugget you can read this thing for more information see Java C is going to convert Java classes to the dot classes earlier and dot classes are getting compiled to the dot dex file dx dx com dx is going to convert dot class to dot dex d e x so presently dot Java is going to convert it to dot jack and from dot jack it is converted to dot dex right and this is the configuration in the default config closure you need to write jack options and in the Android closure you need to write the compile option closure we'll see how to do that thing let me see is it working or not so emulator is starting code is there see just added the code cool. right so let's have one reset button as well so I'll go over here right and then we can add btn reset re set and over here I can say reset right here we can say what reset how reset works okay btn reset so again over here see final 
button say btn reset is equals to find view by id find view by id r dot id dot btn okay right like this sorry btn a reset this thing now this thing make sure that right make sure that if you are going to assign or if you are going to assign only click listener to this btn reset you don't need to type cast it like this so this find view by id dot btn reset dot set on click listener because set on click listener is a method of view class not the button class if you want to use something button specific then type cast it to the button otherwise this would be very fine right otherwise what this would be very fine and here because every view is clickable new on click listener like this this is also fine why to type cast it to the button right why to type cast it to the button that's it this is also fine now here again you are going to write or i am going to find text view once again and here at the time of reset i am going to remove this brackets and this thing let me run the code and see what happens so it would be running now i can say okay it would it is adding what these two reset it is removing very simple created by this thing right okay so that's about this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll see how to add java 8 to your app how to add or how to provide click listener using java 8 method references and the lambdas right